I hope you're okay. This is our East um, Bank Holiday Weekend. And I have a little bit of a problem with my tree that is trailing up in front of my door. Um, the problem is I've got aphids on this and I want to get rid of the aphids but I'm not sure how to do this. So I've spoken to my mum and my mum said to me that if I mix garlic in water then inshallah the problem should resolve by itself and um, she wants me to spray it so if you look carefully here let me show you you can see the aphids that are there and there's plenty of aphids here which i'm having difficulties controlling so what i'm going to try and do is do what mum told me to do because i don't want to lose this tree and i don't want to lose the plant on it it's so much in flower and it's so beautiful and I love this purple colour. And if I move back you will see it's just so beautiful and it's abundance of flowers that I really love. Um, let me show you, there's more. I think I might be able to show you close up ones from here. Look how badly it's affecting the plants. Can you see there's aphids there? It's a little bit windy here in London, so forgive me for the background noise. Look at the aphids here. And it's not nice, it's just heartbreaking to see all the plants being affected by aphids. So what I'm going to do is I will pause the video and I will spray as much as I can because it is a big specimen tree and I won't be able to reach all of them but I'm sure whatever I can I will spray and when I do spray hopefully the problem should resolve but after spraying I will show it to you and then maybe in a couple of days time then the tree had a little bit of a rest and I will spray again with water this time to see if the aphids would diminish if it does oh voila that will be excellent news if it doesn't then I'll have to cut all the flowers off which I don't want to do I don't want to lose all these beautiful flowers that are growing just have a look I've got my ladder out and I'm gonna start spraying. I don't have no helpers so I won't be able to record while I'm spraying so that will have to be paused and I'm gonna pause this now. So I just want to show you all that I just finished spraying. So the spraying has been done and the sun come out now so I wasn't actually expecting the sun to come out but the sun is out now and I'm not sure whether the sun will actually cause an impact I'm not sure if when I did actually spray initially it was all dull so I was just hoping the aphids will just die in the dull weather but the sun come out now and I'm not sure whether that will have an impact on the plants growing so I'll show you here can you see It's just full of aphids everywhere. What I also did is um, 
on my rose bushes. So I've got some um, David Austin rose. Those are the miniature ones. And they've also got aphids because they're just below this tree. I'll show it to you in a minute. And they also have a lot of aphids on them. So I've sprayed as well. Um, the only fear that I have is if the sun affects then that will be a bit of a devastation for me. So here's one of my um, David Austin rose. And this one also has bug. Last night I washed it with water, just water on its own. But look, I've got more aphids here and there which is not pleasant at all so i've sprayed this tree as well with garlic water and i want to see whether the, this also makes a difference yeah. it's just growing here at the front of my garden and then i've got an olive tree here but the, with the olive trees the good thing is they're quite resistant tolerant so I'm not worried about aphids on this one again I have another David Austin rose here um, this one also is affected by lots of creepy crawlies you can see so there's creepy crawlies on this one so I've sprayed it with garlic water as well if you could see there are plenty and it's just such a beautiful specimen tree and these aphids are just eating it away it's a disaster especially when you love your flowers a lot and then i have a bangladeshi lemon tree here so i'm not worried about this one but um i think that's maybe it's disease tolerant i'm not sure but again, I have a yellow Austin rose here. And this one is also affected by aphids. So what I have done is also spray that with garlic water. You can see there's aphids on here as well. These aphids, they look like red box. They look like red bugs, so I need to get rid of those bugs and I'll be so happy when they are no longer there. So I'll try to make another video later on after I wash the trees or maybe after these, these die away. It's not a nice word to use, isn't it, after they die away, but I love my plants and I'd rather have them bug free. So I have a rose vine here as well. This is also been affected by aphids. So I've sprayed some garlic water here as well. It's just so sad it's just seeing the plants being affected by aphids. It's not nice at all. Especially when you're a plant lover, you don't want that to happen to your plants at all. So I'm just hoping the garlic water is strong enough to kill the aphids away and if it doesn't kill the aphids then I'll try and wash it with water that's what I normally do is wash it with water but then again the other thing with washing with water is once I wash it within a day they're back up again because the water just washes it down and they climb back up again almost at the same space they left from so water's not really helping and I thought okay let's try the garlic water so this is my first time trying with, with garlic water and I'm hoping this is gonna help a lot because it is a nice rose vine that I have here and this is a yellow one that I have here so here it is I'm just hoping, deeply hoping that the aphids pass away. 
because it is a beautiful plant you know look at the happy roses the roses are very happy they've got plenty of nutrition but nutrition isn't the problem the problem is just the aphids i don't know where they end up coming from but there's plenty everywhere if you look carefully on the videos i'm sure you will see or you will be able to spot the aphids so hmm now I'm going to show you, I have another problematic plant as well that also has aphid problems, which is my plum tree. So I'm going to take you to my plum tree and show you the problem that I'm having there. And then I'm going to spray it with the garlic water. So this is my plum tree here. The plum is still in process. So there's plenty of plums this year, which I'm really happy about. But the leaves here are curling. Can you see the leaves curling? So the leaves are curling and I'm sure there's some sort of bugs in the leaf that is causing the leaf to curl up. So again, with this one as well, what I'm gonna try and do is spray it with garlic water. This is just an experiment. If it works very good, I'll do it every year. If it doesn't work, then we'll have to find another remedy for it because it's just curling and it's such a beautiful tree but it's only the new leaves that have been having an impact of this curling so i'm not sure whether these have um caterpillars inside them ideally i don't want no caterpillars in my plants they can be butterflies elsewhere but in my garden ideally i would prefer them not touching my plants sounds harsh but i'm sorry i'm a keen gardener so i will try and spray the whole of this tree it's going to take me a while because i have to be careful with the leaves and where things are it's just all the leaves only the mature leaves are fine. It's only the new leaves that are curling. So it's the ones on the tips. I would expect the ones on the tip to be nice, but they are nice in their own way. But it's just, they have curled. Can you see the leaves have curled? If you have any suggestions of what else I can do, please inbox me and I'd like to learn from you and I'll give you a shout out as well. Anything about plants you know and you wish to share with me, I'm more than happy. I'm more than happy for you to contact me and let me know. As you can see everybody, I'm just trying to wash the black bugs from there and it's like it is falling off. So I'm just assuming the garlic water has done wonder and garlic water did work. So it's just garlic water. You put it in wherever you want to put it in, in a bottle, fill up the bottle with water and leave it for 24 hours and then spray it on your plant. So it's, it's nothing, don't worry, I'm going to really talk over it. So it will help your plant to get and it's things that you could use from your house. You don't need to buy any chemicals and put it on your plant. It's just pure garlic water that you will be using. In a minute people, I will need to go on my ladder to clean it all off. This is one of my favorite tree and I love the lilac color as well. I do believe there are other colors of this plant but I don't have it. I only have this one color. If anybody has this one in red, please do let me know 
or if you share your video with me and I'll be more than happy to watch it. You know, today's weather is absolutely beautiful in UK. And us having that fun and glory of watering my plant, my beautiful plant, the one I really, really like, is just wonder. It just water is spraying on us as well, but we're not feeling cold. So easy, just look at it the way the plant is getting so clean. I'm just really lucky for the time being. My little princess is holding the phone for me so I can make that recording. She is a blessing in disguise for me. She's always there helping me with every little thing that I do. If any of you have a little gardener, a little gardening prince or a princess, please do share them with me. Because we need to get our new generations into gardening as well. Everything is becoming so technological that children are losing interest in gardening and they rather spend time on the computer playing games indoors. Just to get our youngsters outdoor more, it's better to get them involved in gardening. And it's very therapeutic as well. So this area is under that tree. So I'm going to water this. So I've got a fuchsia here as well that I'm watering. And then these are some succulents here. This one is telling me I want water, I want water. So I'm giving it plenty of water. I'm sure it's going to be very pleased because it has plenty of green trees. Okay, so My lawn need cutting, so yeah, I will get to that as well when I can. Let's see, this is one of my lemons. And I'm watering. I did see it flowering the other day. Let me just see if I can find that flower. Ah, look, 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 look. There's the flower. There's the flower. But it's quite rare that we get lemons in England unless the temperature is really good. And our temperature is like once in a millennium. Our temperature is quite good. We don't often get good weather in England. Those of you who know would know that we don't get much. By the way, do you remember I sprayed garlic water here? This is looking quite clean. Have a look. This is looking very clean. So maybe garlic water is working. Look at these. So these are these flowers are um, one second. So these flowers are, I actually forgot, but I'm going to write it up and I will let you know. It's just, I'm just doing a vlog without even writing. So when I do my writing, I will remember everything so I won't be pausing at all. So, yeah. This is the water in that part. There was some coriander here probably, but I can't see the coriander anymore. Fuchsia is looking 
too very good. And I need to this one, I'm sorry. This one here. So everyone, I'm just trying to wash off the box from my plant. It's really relaxing washing off all the bugs from your lovely plants. And then at the same time, I'm watering them. So that also feels really good. I thought I might just like to show you. I've got thyme and fuchsia growing here. So I've got fuchsia and I've got marigold. These are the African marigolds that I've got here growing. So I hope they do really well. And it's quite rare in England that we have full sun, so we don't often get full sun here. But I'm just so grateful that I've got um, my David Austin Rose. Um, they're doing quite well. 